Welcome. This is, of course, Michael John Byer, the host of the Juju 2 cast. And this is, as I am filming it later, the remake and redone version of the show Monopoly Streets Review. Um, the first time I did this review, I had a lot of technical problems with my equipment, a lot of power uh, things, so I had to redo a lot of things. I had to uh, get uh, basically a better power strip on the bottom of my computer because the other one just uh, well, well, self-destructed. I'm not going to go into any more detail about that, but yeah, that's where it kind of happened, self-destructed. But that's 2011. I promised everybody a review for Monopoly Street. I know there's probably a lot of them out there. But I'm going to give it a go ahead anyways and review it while I got some footage of it. While I was playing it. Uh, there's going to be no footage of me playing it multiplayer because I didn't get to play any multiplayer until last night. And I didn't have a video camera hookup to it at that time. But... This is, let's just say, in the 2010-2011 Monopoly Streets review. As you can see, it's for the Xbox 360. This is my console of choice. There might be a lot of PS3 fanboys or Wii people, maybe. But I'm an Xbox fanboy. I like the PS3 for its media capabilities, but Xbox rocks for me. So, on to the review, finally. Monopoly Streets, compared to the original Monopoly that came out for the Xbox, is 100 times better. It's got online multiplayer. That's all you have to know. Plus, it has 3D cityscapes, lots of boards, lots of downloadable content already. Um, When I first started playing Monopoly Streets, let me... See if I can open this up here. Uh, there we go. Make it all official looking. First time I played Monopoly Streets, um, it was eh, it was great. After a while, I noticed uh, it froze after trying to do some of the basic saving tasks and stuff. It froze. Um, it corrupted my data like uh, once. On my uh, SD card for my saving. But. And that kind of pissed me off a little bit. And I got some footage on that. Um, I might put up later around when I find it again. Uh, the footage of me uh, cussing and stuff. About when I lost all that day. It's priceless. Uh, and I was recording it. And I got pissed off. Like anybody would. When you're trying to get an achievement. And your game freezes and breaks. Right in the middle of the playing the game and it wasn't even finished yet it was barely finished and it froze and I was kind of pissed at EA because this game I loved it um they had a patch out for it like the next day or something I think it was but um I did some tricks like I did a double save and stuff but I found out if you play through the game you beat it like two or three times for some weird reason it stopped doing the glitchy freezing thing so now now it's perfect now I have no complaints whatsoever um my friends they have the people that I know uh, my friends have Monopoly Streets they haven't had any problems they said with uh freezing or glitches so it's basically just my my bad timing I guess um <laughs> and my my luck to get that uh, glitching and all that. But they didn't have that. Uh, lucky them. Well, let's just say... Uh, shoot. What else was I going to say about it? They did the glitching. All I can say it's great. Online multiplayer. Played it for the first time last night. Uh, and sometimes my internet, because I got Time Warner cable for internet i'm still waiting for files so if anybody that works at verizon and you're in the and you know in buffalo or chictawaga i should say um getting ready to put files in or if you guys are even planning on putting any verizon files in 
please come to Chitawaga. Put in some Verizon Fios for me. Look me up. I want Verizon Fios. Nothing wrong with Time Warner, but the prices went up. Their speeds have gone down dramatically. It's been a little tough to game sometimes online and doing some other stuff, and especially when I'm uploading videos for my podcast now. I'm going to need a lot more speed, and if I'm not, I can't afford to do the thing about uh, paying you guys for just a little bit more speed. So hopefully, uh, Verizon, you get Fios in our area. Then I could go ahead and play some Monopoly Streets online a lot more. Like I said, it hasn't did anything. It wasn't glitchy or nothing. It wasn't kicking me off. It was a good run. Okay, back to the review of Monopoly Streets. Well, what can I say? It's Monopoly. You got its official rules. You can make up your own rules. It has all these crazy rules like you could go... Like, you can get a fast track to a fast, quick game in. You can get a a game where you get to bid on the properties before you play, which Monopoly Streets, I love their auctioning thing where you get to do, like, the horse race. Oh, he's going to get the – he's going up, he's going up, he's going up, he's getting the money. You get it all. Who has the most money that they're going to bid on it? Bid it. Oh, 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 better, better, down, 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 better. And you hear – Mr. Monopoly going, hey, bitter, hey, bitter, hi, 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 hey, bitter, hey, bitter, 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 oh, little bitter, little bitter, little bitter, 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 bitter. It's pretty fun. <laughs> you can even make it so if you don't want to bid on the property, you want to just screw somebody out of a lot of money in it. You could go really low. Uh, they're still up there, but you can always go back down on your bids, which I think that makes the game a lot better to previous Monopoly games. Um, so I got some footage that I'm going to talk about and uh, show you guys about Monopoly Streets. Um, just to tell you, off of this whole review, I give it about four out of five stars. I don't have any rating systems, but four out of five stars for this game due to the previous glitching I had with it. Um, but that's all better now. But still four or five stars. It, EA did a great job on this game. Hopefully they come out with another Monopoly game like it. I love all the boards. They got a cheese board. They got a cardboard <laughs> board. They got a futuristic board. They got, like I said, the Monopoly Street 3D board. You can use your in-game avatars in the game running around the board all silly willy and nilly like playing this i love it and here is some of the things that i like about monopoly streets in this review well folks here's monopoly streets um as you can see i'm filming this off my camcorder onto the tv because i don't got a direct feed but the graphics in this is amazing just look at the detail this is the city part of monopoly streets you can play on a regular board but this is one of the main features, the city. Um, this girl, I forgot her name, but she she's in the shoe type deal. Um, well, here here's the buildings. This is the ranking system of Monopoly Streets. Uh, there's my character. Um, 3D layouts, as you can see. The graphics are just superb. Just landing on go. Got my money. Um... Just it's just the detail, the music, the sound of Monopoly Streets. Um, which I'm not doing any sound for Monopoly Streets right now, but um, it's just it's just detailed. Uh, purchasing things, purchasing houses and hotels, it's so easy. You would think. Oh, there's my little house. I must have bought it on one of the cheaper lands. That's why. That's like mini Monopoly right there. That is Mini Monopoly. Oh, his building just crumbled. Oh, when you lose in this, your building crumbles. Your corporation. They do it like by corporations. Mine's the car. It's the biggest corporation. I just look. The stats are amazing. And there's a couple characters. Here's that uh, Hick Lady. That's one of the characters you can get in Monopoly Streets. She runs around barefoot with a wheelbarrow. I think that's pretty hilarious. Um, the next character in Monopoly Streets 
well, the race car driver guy. Which, any of these characters you can change from the character that's with the cars or the boats or the ships. You can actually just switch them over with, to your avatar. Which they make it easy to do in the game. Oh, uh, here's the little girl. Coming off the streets. She's the, she has the shoe. As you can see, what we're roaming around there. <sighs> Oh, gonna buy. It. Oh, there's this little. I call him Mini Monopoly because he's basically Mr. Monopoly's like son or something. He looks exactly like him, just younger. Or it could be a small Bill Gates. Whatever you want to think of. There's the ship captain for the ship. Um. Yeah, look at this. And uh, this is the normal board right now that you're seeing that he's deploying on. Like I said, it, it's just amazing. It just goes around. It, it amazes me what they do to make it fun in the Monopoly. Um, here's the girl. Oh yeah, the bidding. This is great. The bidding, it's like an auction house. And you can up your bids, lower your bids. If you want to screw somebody over, if you want to make a better deal, you can up it and lower it. So he's going buy bidder, buy bidder, buy bidder, buy bidder, buy bidder, high bidder, high bidder, bidder, low bidder, low, 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 low bidder, low bidder. So did I win this one? No, I did not. Someone else won that, bid, but that's the bidding. Ah, uh, there he is going around and around. Oh, uh, my character just went to jail. Aw, oh, man. And then when they throw you in jail, they actually show you thrown in jail, not like a previous monopolies where they just show you right next to the jail they actually show you inside jail and your car is parked in front of it <laughs> um what is this the paper board or the cheese board this is uh the part where i'm like gonna build well i'm gonna trade with somebody trading is so fun you can see just all you have to do is choose your token tokens that you want to trade with go up and down the list from each player or whatever, you're the computer which I'm playing against, pick what you want. If you want money, buildings, or whatnot. On your side, all you have to do is choose what you want to give them. Um, if you if it's if you're playing against computer, and just to tell you, don't underbid them. They'll never take the deal. Always give them the same amount or more. Which I'm saying you might have to give them like. At least ten dollars more, or something that's worth ten dollars more than what it's worth, because they will never, even on easy to hard, they will never accept your your offer. So that's one thing you want to consider about it. Make sure you actually do a good bid. Look at the stuff that you're gonna. I only bid on things or offer trades. If I have two of the properties, or and I only need one more property or something, then I actually like trade with them. Otherwise, it's pretty pretty much not worth it for me. Uh, you can choose the money category and how much money you want. Like I said, everything is so streamlined in this. It, it makes it so easy, so anybody can figure out to play it. Uh, the the older Monopoly, the original Monopoly game, the one that's not online multiplayer, um, it didn't have, like, it was a little trickier to bid with people and stuff. They made it, they, they fixed all that in this version. It shows your cards and all your cards and stats in here on the sides. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Uh, is he, I think he. I think in this one he rejects my uh, offer. Oh well, his his tough luck. I I gave him a good offer, but he rejected it. Right? Yep. Trade rejected. But I have a lot of property, and I do win that one. So, not my fault. <laughs> um, we're still in the bidding stage, or not the bidding stage, the trading part of this uh, review. Um, the color, well, I always like the color scheme of this game. Um, it, it reminds me of playing an old-fashioned Monopoly, but in a digital age. And I played a lot of different Monopoly games. I played them on the DSs. I played them on my computer. I played them, the board games. I got, like, a whole bunch of different, different, uh, 
Monopoly games from Hoovalopoly to Monopoly to Star Warsopoly, Staropoly or whatever it's called. But uh, I, the council one, I think this Monopoly Streets, if it's online multiplayer, is the best out there. I'm telling you. If there's a game that you have to get, it's Monopoly Streets for the Xbox 360. Play it online. If you like Monopoly like I do, this is streamlined. Like I said, the glitches in the beginning were a little bit, but after it got patched and after you play a couple games, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fun. There's tons of characters, tons of boards, tons of unlockables, tons of things, extras, add-ons you can purchase from uh, the game itself through the Microsoft Store, like new boards and new uh, like thimbles and cop hats and characters and stuff. Which I, I'm gonna I gotta still purchase some because there's two new ones already that just came out, but uh, but it's it's well worth my the money to me because I'm a big Monopoly fan. I played the first one, beat it. I'm, I'm unlocked like everything in this one. I'm playing online with people right now. I'm starting to finally. Um, like I said, it's a must get. And if you want to play against me online, if you get Monopoly Streets from my review or whatever. My gamer tag on Xbox is MJB2006WC. That is MJB2006WC. Hope to see you on. And I'm still trying to get a good offer. Give him a good offer and get something for in his trade. And that's the two Reds. Um, Indiana, Illinois. And Illinois. I don't know if he's going to... I think I gave him a lot for those. Because... I needed those for my uh, to build my houses and hotels on. So then I wipe them out. I I always have a good strategy going in in these games. It's all about strategy and luck and stuff. It's, sometimes I get all these freaking doubles from rolling the dice, and I go to jail a lot. And <sighs> oh, and the best part, if you play it on the 360, you get your achievements. If you're an achievement whore like me. You, you love achievements? Yeah, this is a great game for getting easy achievements, fun achievements. Um, uh, anything else I gotta talk about about Monopoly Streets? Um, well, pick it up. It's available at every GameStop, Best Buy, Amazon.com. You can get it off of Gamefly. That's just a few of them. Um, I'm hoping a, the EA gets a Monopoly, a good Monopoly game out on my droid phone for my droid or anything like that or any android device because i'd love to play and review that i'm still still trying to trade with this guy here i see let's see if they'll let me get my bid probably i I think i eventually get it i eventually get the to get those properties from him or her yeah, but the best part about playing online on the Xbox, Xbox avatars, you get my avatar, I can ride the boat. I was carrying my sack of money the last time around the board. I'm playing on the regular board. Oh, and look, I got him. And I unlocked an ach- achievement, a 35 gamer score achievement. And that's basically the review. Oh, now I'm going to build my houses and hotels. There I go, putting a house and a hotel on my new properties. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, my little review on Monopoly Streets. Um, b- basically, that's all I could show you for Monopoly Streets. Like I said, I didn't have no multiplayer shown uh, recorded. Hold on a second while I take a piece of Christmas candy and eat it because I'm starving. Even though I just had a pizza earlier, a little slice or two. Um... Yeah, but that's it. Monopoly Streets for the Xbox 360. I give it a 4 out of 5 because of the terrible glitching that used to happen before. Before the patch, or should I say, when I played the game more. and basically fixed it. Um, yeah, but that's it. Um, I'd like to say a quick thing. For 2011... 
It was going to be a new show that I call Android Apps Monthly. And it's a show that's within 15 minutes or or I should say more now because YouTube is allowing me to do more than 15 minutes, allowing most people to do more than 15 minutes. But when I wrote this thing, it only was 15 minutes. Um, it's going to be, it's called Android Apps Monthly. It's going to be a YouTube video cast where I'm talking about basically Android apps. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be filming this first show. It's going to be during the week sometime. Maybe, maybe it'll be on Tuesday or something. It depends. Like I said, it's about going around my work schedule and stuff. But it's going to be, uh, each month, once each month, we're going to have a few apps, a few games, a few other, um... Android apps that uh, might get people interested in Android more or helping to unlock the true potential of Android for people that have these little guys, Droid phones or Android phones, any Droid Incredibles, etc., etc., Droid tablets, which should hopefully be coming out soon instead of just having the Samsung Galaxy and the Arcos tablets out. Um... And I'll do a monthly sh- show on that because I want to get uh, when the tablets come out. I want to do the show with using a tablet, an Android tablet to show. Which I think that's going to be pretty cool because a lot of people don't have shows like that. And people that do have shows like that, it's very few in between. But I would like to do a monthly show, at least a monthly program that does Android apps. Um. It's going to be sponsored by me and my uh, little my little garage sale type business, eStuff, uh, via Amazon.com. If you want to go pick up some games or whatever I have on there, I sell some stuff just to pay for, like, you know, the equipment and internet and stuff. That would help me out if I could get some more. That's money for just this. It takes a little bit of money for... You know, to pay the bills for the internet and hopefully to get Fios. Yeah, but it's going to be sponsored by East Stuff, my, my little business. Uh, stuff you can't probably find any everywhere, or you can find everywhere. But at a quality online sh- shopping should be. Not a big competitor, just a little brick and mortar online shopper. Um... Games, books, electronics, and more new and used here at East Stuff via Amazon.com. And that's going to be the sponsor for now for Android Apps Monthly. And I should just say it's the sponsor for uh, my Juju Cast, my Juju Podcast, or Video Cast, I should say, because I'm not doing it for pods. Unless if you're watching on your Android phone or iPhone or iPad or Android tablet. So that was my whole review on Monopoly Streets. Uh, I suggest, I hope some people go out there and purchase it. It's a very good buy. It's well worth the money. There's a lot of downloads, a lot of extras. Um, hope, hopefully I'll see you on there. You want to play against me? My gamer, Xbox Live gamer tag is MJB. 2006 WC, that is MJB 2006 WC. And I hope to see you online. Send me a game invite or or try to hook me up on my friends list. I got plenty of room. I only got a few select friends that I chosen over the years I've been playing. But I'd like to get more. Uh, if you want to play me against in Monopoly Streets, um few other online p- games like uh what else i got dead rising 2 fable 3 red dead redemption gears of war 2 a few other games or if you just want to talk or ask questions and talk about games movies etc about maybe if you got any ideas or questions and 
about my video cast on reviews and stuff and that I'm going to do or have done in the past or want to do in the future for my technology wise. Um, yeah, just, you could do that or you could just go to my YouTube page at Juju2Cast on YouTube. Uh, just type a message in the comments part of the page, uh, ask questions through that. Um, you got you like it or you don't like it. You got advice for new stuff or whatever. Just do a comment. You can even also subscribe to my Juju Two Cast on my page, and that is Juju Two Cast on YouTube dot com. And this is Michael John Barr, the host of Juju Two Cast, creator, founder, etc. 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 Signing off for this. Beginning of 2011, and I will hope to see any of you or all of you watching my casts. And thank you for your support, and signing off right now. Goodbye.